Yo, what's good guys? Your boy Jason JV here and I uh, figure I'll do a collection video vlog Something like that, but uh, yeah, you know, obviously you guys have been so curious about what I keep in my room So so be advised. This is not a complete room tour uh, This is just me uh, showing off my collection that you guys see in the background of all my videos and stuff So without further ado, let's get right into it. So right here. You're seeing uh, some of my uh Diecast car collection. I got a, uh, a 98 uh, Chevy S10 extended cab. As you can see, it's sitting on some little billet wheels. Didn't come with those wheels. I actually put those on there. You know what I mean? Just think it looks a whole lot better with that. It's got a chopper. You know what I mean? Hanging off the back. And then right in, next to that, we got a 67 Chevy Impala uh, with the blacked out spokes. Um, I actually did that myself. I hand painted it those uh, spokes with. Uh, paint pen and then going down to my my kicker box my kicker, my kicker case we got a whole pretty much a whole assortment of impalas in here we got the original 1958 chevy impala with the red spokes of course done by me you know what i mean got it doing the uh the rear lifted stance you know what i mean got a black 62 right here that you can barely see but trust me it's there uh, as you can probably tell from the wheels Yes, got it. I got it sitting on some gold center uh, spokes. And down here we got a 1959 drop top. You know what I'm saying? It's sitting on some on some big ass billet wheels. Next to that we got this red 63 sitting on old golds. The uh, center knockoffs are chrome. Down here we got a blue 1960 with the blue center spokes that, of course, I hand painted. There we go. And then next to that, we got the uh, 64. You know what I mean? Can't go wrong with a 64 Chevy Impala. Sitting on some gold center uh, spokes with the uh, chrome knockoffs. And then this one, I put a lot of work into, as you can probably tell. It's a 61 Chevy Impala. It's got the, kind of got a classic hot rod. You know what I mean? Lead sled look going. You know what I mean? Painted this, this off white, kind of a vanilla cream color. You know what I'm saying? With some flame decals that I added on. Of course, I added on to all the other little decals, like the little eight ball right there by the behind the front fender. You know what I'm saying? A little flame decal right in front of the rear fender. And then sitting in front of these guys, we got the uh Takashi 69 special right here. The D or the, the 69 Deluxe. Hold on, let me get some of this crap out of the way. So yeah, they, we got the 69 Deluxe right here, sitting on some all chromes. And uh, we got a Chevy Nova. Sitting on some Kregers with some white walls. Again, all these cars were customized by me. Right next to the Nova, we got this uh, El Camino sitting on some Dayton's or spokes. And then we got the 7-Eleven edition uh, 69 Dodge Charger on some, uh, some rather smooth wheels. We got some 20s in the front, 22s in the rear. Yeah, next to that, we got the uh, Fast and Furious special here, the uh, Dominic Toretto Deluxe uh, 70 Dodge Charger. This one is <laughs> kind of funny looking. I actually swapped out uh, the wheels, put some little 20s in the front, some big old 24s in the back, kind of giving it that, that dragster look. And then we got a, uh, I believe this is a 79 Ford F-150, if I'm not mistaken. Got it sitting on some 20 inch chrome spokes with some gold knockoffs. Next to that is my F1, my 2002 Harley Edition F150 sitting on some big wheels. And got the flame decals that I added on there. And in case you're wondering what's in the back, it's some chrome uh, disc brakes. So it's like my parts runner truck. And it's hauling a trailer that's, uh, that's got some big wheels on there. On that, we got a 85, I believe, 85, 87, somewhere around there, uh, square body blazer. And this was a pain in the ass to customize, let me tell you. Man, I had to cut into the frame. I had to redo the rear uh, wheel hubs just to get this thing low and to house those big wheels that it's sitting on. But I think it looks badass like that. And this truck that I'm putting back is my Ford F100. See, we got some big wheels in the front, some bigger ones in the back. 
and it's another parts runner truck. It's got some wheels back there. And then in my, well, before we get to the truck case, let's go back to the top. We got a uh, 67 uh, Pontiac GTO, the 711 edition, with some custom wheels, some big wheels in the front, bigger ones in the back. Got a 65 Buick Riviera sitting on some Supremes. And then got a couple of pop figures here. My two Notorious B.I.G. Baby, baby. And um, my couple of Pac Pops. Thug Life, baby. And then into the truck case, we got my 1953. I believe this is a 53 uh, two-tone pickup. This is the only, only truck or the only die-cast car in my collection that I did not customize. The way you see it is exactly how it came out of the box. With those wheels and at that ride height, that's that's the way it came out of the box. Next to that, we have a uh, 6970 Chevy C10. And then below the 53, we have a 55, 56 uh, Chevy pickup sitting on some, some nice chrome wheels. <clears throat> Next to that, we got my 71, 72 C10 Cheyenne, uh, Chevy Cheyenne. It's got a little old school bike in the back. And then down here we have my, uh, my I believe this is a either a 57 or 58 Apache. And the only thing I did to this one was just lowered it. Those are the original wheels that it came with. So yeah, pretty much all I did to this one was just lower it. I'm actually a member of the uh, of a lowrider group page. Took a picture of this when I was finished with it. You know what I mean? And um, actually took a survey with some other members, asked them if whether or not I should change the wheels. A majority of them said keep the wheels. Ride height, ride height is nice with those wheels, so just keep the wheels. So I said, all right, I'll keep the wheels then. And then we got my 85 square body Chevy pickup. Slammed down on some nice big chrome rims. And then we got my uh, 64, 65 uh, Chevy pickup here, two tone. It's got some little, um, some little hydraulics, uh, batteries and pumps in the back there. Some some nice, uh, classic looking uh, chrome wheels. And then we got my my '91 Chevy Silverado. You know what I'm saying? Sitting on some chrome wheels. And that's pretty much the car collection, guys. We'll go ahead and we'll move over to my tower. As you, hey. As you can see, we got Ren and Stimpy here with Muddy Mud Skipper and Stimpy's Magic Nose Goblins. Uh, right below them, one of my favorite horror figures, Pennywise the Clowns. You can see, I, yeah, I got a ton of Pennywises. They kept releasing them, so I kept buying them because I wanted, you know, different variations of Pennywise. This one right here with the balloon, that's a GameStop exclusive. Um, the one back here, he's the original first release. And then I don't know which of the three came after. But yeah, we got my man Pennywise here in various stages of the first movie. Over here, we got the original Pennywise. This is the one I made reference uh, in my song, On the Alert, where I said, um, I am everything you ever were afraid of. That's, that's from this guy's movie. And uh, going above them, we have my Child's Play. Chucky figure here, holding his knife, and the head sculpt he's sporting is the the stitched up head sculpt from, uh, I want to say Bride of Chucky. And then we have my Michael Myers. The one to our left is from part two. The one to our right is from the 2018 film. We got Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode from the 2018 film. Right above them, my Nightmare on Elm Street collection, New Nightmare Freddy, uh, Part 1 Freddy, and then that's, no, Part 1 Freddy is next to the boiler on our left, <clears throat> Part 2 Freddy is the one up front, and then the one to the right with the trench coat, that's uh, New Nightmare Freddy, <clears throat> and then all my Jason Voorheeses, we have uh, Freddy vs. Jason, Jason, we have the remake Jason, the 2009 remake Jason up here up front. And then the back, in the middle, we have the uh, part six Jason, Jason Lives. Fun fact, I actually met the actor who played Jason, C.J. Graham. Hell of a nice guy. Super cool dude. You know what I'm saying? I actually have another one 
of this particular figure in box and it's autographed. It's in my closet. I have to show that in a later video. <clears throat> and of course we have the part five imposter Roy Jason behind him is part two. Next to the part two, I believe it's part three. Next to part three is part four. In front of part four, uh, right in front or right behind um, the Freddy vs. Jason is the part five uh, dream sequence Jason, I believe. No, scratch that. The one in the very back is a dream sequence Jason and then the one in front of him is part four. And then I showed these on Alpha Tyler's uh, streams one time. I believe it was the uh, election stream. We have my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers replica helmets. Uh, this one, of course, being autographed by both, uh, excuse me, by both uh, Jason David Frank, who autographed the visor, and Carla Perez, who played Rita Repulsa. She uh, did the little autograph here. And then, or oh, her autograph is here. Oh no, oh no, her quote is here. And then her graph is here. Very nice lady. And Jason David Frank, awesome dude. He did his graph over here. And then his quote is over here. It says, uh, six working together to fight evil. Rita's quote is, uh, is a finster. I finally made a monster and it's winning. Over here, we have my autograph, Red Ranger helmet. So yeah, I got to meet Austin St. John. Super cool dude. He did his quote over here. It's morphin' time. Did his signature over here. And then down here, this is um, from the actor who played Goldar. So I believe that's his quote right there where he says, you have nowhere to hide or you can't hide forever, Red Ranger. And then his graph is over here. And then right above these guys, I'm going to have to stand up. <clears throat> My uh, Batman animated series Batmobile, as you can tell from this little... Um, this little uh, fluorescent uh, decal here and uh, this red card here, it's authenticated. Reason being, it's actually autographed by Val Kilmer, who I did not meet. Um, I actually um, asked my cousin because he was going to meet Val Kilmer if he could take this Batmobile with him and get it grafted for me, and he did. So, shout out to you, Cousin Joe, if you're watching this video. Appreciate your brother. And then on my wall... You might have seen this too in the background, my autographed picture of Sting. It's Bound for Glory for uh poster here. It's a dope poster. <clears throat> yeah, next to that. I got this at a car show, one of the good guys car show. Car shows that they have in uh <clears throat> over in uh shoot. Alameda County. Yeah, it's a couple of uh 65s, couple of 66s, they're all at a gas station. Yeah. Or actually, I believe that, that's an auto shop. My bad. But yeah, really like that. All right, y'all. We're going to move on to the next shelf. All right, y'all. So here we are in my bookcases. You've probably seen mostly this area here in the background of my videos. But we're going to start this first one. As you can see, I got a couple of autographed pops. Uh, didn't actually meet Amy Jo Johnson, who played the Pink Ranger. Um, I actually got these from my cousin, same cousin who did my Batmobile. And then I got my uh, Batman pop right here, the uh, Target edition. And then I got this Joker Alien, who, which is actually a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Did not get it at San Diego Comic-Con. I had to order it through eBay. And then my Ice Cube pop. My 1966 Batmobile with... Uh, Classic blue and gray Batman inside. And yes, Robin is with him. And then in front of this, we got my Back to the Future uh, replica hoverboard. <laughs> it's actually a real hoverboard in a sense, as you can see. It's hovering. It's a hovering. How it's done, I mean, you can probably tell already. Magnets. Oops. That's why I got the rails here. So that way it doesn't, you know, doesn't doesn't slide off. But yeah, that's pretty dope. And then we have here a Batmobile that I built. This was uh, originally a Bratz Roadster. And basically I just took it apart, painted the body, spray painted the body black. Uh, hand painted the uh, spokes. Actually hand painted the whole wheel. Each wheel I hand painted. Uh, did the spokes black. And I did the outer rim and like a silvery, um, and like a silvery finish. 
silver finish. And I added the bat fins in the back. We got my Commissioner Gordon figure with the uh, bat signal. And don't judge, but um, we got these Barbie um, Ben Affleck Batman with uh, Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. This is a Target exclusive Batman with the Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Uh, trust me, his cowl is with him. You, you can't see it, but it's with him, actually. I can look over. Yeah, there it is. And then we have my Sideshow collectibles, um, Batman and Catwoman. Can you tell them I'm a Batman fan? <laughs> In case you haven't figured it out by now. And then we got my American flag moved over here on this wall. So yeah, I'm going back over here. We're gonna go to the next section here. We have my uh, my Bandai Tamashi Nations uh, Power Ranger figures here in a case. <clears throat> in front of them is the Mask Rider, and then the uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive um, Bandai Tamashi Nations Red Ranger and Green Ranger with the Jason and Tommy head sculpts. That, again, did not go to Comic Con. Had to get these guys through eBay. Got my uh, White Ranger versus Green Ranger deal going on over here. Then we have my shielded uh, red and black ranger there in the background. <clears throat> and then going over here, my Batman figure collection. Uh, this Ben Affleck Batman figure is a uh, custom. Um, I swapped out the heads, put that, that head sculpt on him. Ordered this cape through eBay, put that cape on him. This one right here is a full-on custom. Uh, new cape, new head sculpt. Yeah. And uh, this Batman right here, the blue and gray, if my camera will focus. So the, as I was saying earlier, the blue and gray Batman here, he came with this alien Joker figure. Uh, so yeah, this alien Joker figure and this blue and gray Batman, they came together in a two pack. It was Again, it was a Comic Con, originally a Comic Con exclusive, a San Diego Comic Con, Comic Con exclusive, excuse me. Now it's available at Walmart. <laughs> <sighs> But at the time when I bought the two-pack, I didn't know it was going to Walmart. Uh, next to him is a custom Batman Returns Batman. Uh, new head sculpt. Added a cowl piece around the collar. And a custom cape. And yeah. Yeah. Pretty much just more Batman figures. And uh, yeah. Going back over here, my third section. Got my Power Rangers display here. This is my Hasbro Power Rangers display. Got the original Mighty Morphin team right here uh, with their helmets displayed on these uh, makeshift uh, computer panels, if you will. Of course, we got to have Zord on and we got to have Alpha 5 to complete it. And then over here, my uh, Zeo collection. We got the movie, the 2017 movie Alpha over here. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we got the, the Zeo Rangers over here. All right, and then over here, my Joker collection. As you can see, we got one Joker over here trying to be funny, trying to do the Michael Jackson lean forward, trying to do the smooth criminal. And he's probably going to fall over on me as I'm trying to fix him. So, yeah, I got some Harley Quinns, got some Jokers, got a Joker mobile, which uh, just like the Batmobile, this is a custom built vehicle that I, that I built. Uh, again, it's another Bratz Roadster. Uh, basically, I just took it apart. Uh, there was originally a hood emblem on here. I got rid of it and filled in the hole here to make that hood nice and smooth. That's what she said. And um, yeah, re just repainted the body, repainted the doors, uh, repainted the wheels. The wheels were hand painted. Uh, the, did some paint on the bumper and on the grill here too. The grill's gold instead of chrome, which it, it was originally. There was a Bratz emblem back here on this side and on the other side as well got rid of shaved those off made it all nice and smooth so yeah so now we got the uh joker mobile trunk actually opens it's got some little hidden surprises here let me get over here Woo. trunk opens up and you can see we got the joker's uh goods back there you know what i mean and uh, for Harley Quinn, she actually, there's actually a glove compartment on here for her. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but in that glove compartment, there's a little cork gun in there. Yeah, we'll go ahead and close that up. Get you a little close-up shot of my J 
Jokers, Harley Quinn, Creeper figures. All right, let's go ahead, move down to the fourth section. We got my villains for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, we got Goldar from the show. We got Lord Draken, who is based on the um, Boom Comics series. If you guys haven't read the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Boom Comics, do yourselves a favor. Read those books. They are awesome. Uh, Pink Ranger Slayer, she's from the Boom Comics series as well. We got, of course, Rita and Lord Zed. My bad for the lighting. And then we have a custom Dark Pink Ranger. This one's based on the uh, Power Rangers uh, Battle for the Grid fighting game. As well as this Dark Red Ranger. He's based on that game as well. The Black Ranger, the Dark Black Ranger. He's uh, an original design. But he's supposed to be based on the Evil Black Ranger from the uh, Mighty Morphin TV series. And then of course we have one of Rita's putties right there. Yeah, and in case you're wondering what all this is, uh, we have Zed's uh, Growth Grenade right here for his monsters. Uh, Rita's Love Potion. The Green Crystal from when Zed tried to steal the Green Ranger's powers. And then their Wedding Cake. And over here, we got my Superman collection. Again, my bad for the lighting. I'm doing the best I can here. We got the Flash, the uh, John Wesley ship uh, TV show Flash right here in the background. Along with Linda Carter, Wonder Woman, and Barbie Batgirl. Again, don't judge me. And um, back here, uh, Val Kilmer, Batman. Danny DeVito, Penguin from Batman Returns. Got some Wonder Women here. We got um, Green Lantern back there. Then we have my, my Flashes, my two Flashes. Both uh, Barry Allen and Wally West. Uh, Jonah Hex back there. Raven from Teen Titans. Got Power Girl. Power Girl right here. My bad. Spawn. Gotta have Spawn. And then my Superman. My Kingdom Come Superman. My Christopher Reeve uh, Superman. The New 52 Superman. And then uh, this is a very old Superman figure. This one came out back in 2003. And then we got the um, Todd McFarlane Superman. Which is pretty dope. And uh, all of them have custom capes, except for this guy. Except for him and the Christopher Reeve one. He, that, that cape that he came with, that's an original cape. Uh, this guy, he's going to get a custom cape later on. And, uh, yeah. Going down here. So we got all my villains. We got the Riddler, Poison Ivy. We got Azrael Batman from the Nightfall series. And we got Joker from The Dark Knight Returns. We got Talia Al Ghul, Man Bat, Lobo, Parasite Bane, and then up front, Cheetah. Not to be confused with a um, certain Cheetah, you know what I mean? Like, <coughs> Kamala Harris. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Penguin, classic Penguin. And then back over here, the uh, start of my Back to the Future collection, we have original part one. Marty McFly rocking the aviators and about to jam on the guitar. And you can see he got his skateboard and his backpack. 1955 Biff. I guess you could say this is Biff from when he went to that Enchantment Under the Sea dance. Or you could say this is Biff from halfway through the movie where um, everyone was over at the uh, the uh, cafe. And uh, Marty lays out Biff with a one-hitter quitter. Which led up to uh, Biff chasing Marty on a makeshift skateboard while Biff was driving his... Uh, his 46 Ford, and then of course we have part two Marty with the hoverboard, and yeah, let the <clears throat> got the backdrops there to represent the scenes from each movie. All right, y'all, and then we got one little section I guess I can show before we close this out. Got my little stand here with my uh, Batman Arkham Knight. Um, statue which came with the deluxe copy of the game Batman Arkham Knight did not come with the flag the flag I ordered off of Amazon and I figured I'll just it'll just make for a nice display giving him the flag because uh Murica my nightfall uh Catwoman picture of me like a really young me I believe I was I believe I was 15 or 16 at the time when I took that picture and that's my cousins with me <clears throat> 
My 124 scale diecast Batmobile, gotta have that based on the movie, the 1989 movie. Canopy actually works too. Bam, you can see inside there. And then the uh, Lego counterpart. It's not really Lego that made this. It's some third-party company that didn't really have the license to make this Batmobile, so they made their own variation of it. And then my first ever autograph piece, the uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, postcard. I got this way back in the early '90s when the show was when the show was really hot. And uh, yeah, I got everybody's signature on this thing. So yeah, we have all six Rangers. Not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this on camera very well, but you can probably see uh, obviously Jason David Frank's signature right there. But yeah, everybody's is on there. Everybody signed this. I don't know how legit this is. I don't know if it's a photocopy or what the deal, but um, hey, my first ever autograph piece, and it's an old piece too. So yeah, definitely holding on to that. As you can see, the Fox Kids Network, Saban. The drug and alcohol um, resistance uh, education program. Yeah. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for this video. Really hope you guys enjoyed my collection vlog video. If you did, you know, do that thumbs up down below. You know, do that comment section down below. And uh, yeah. Till next video. Y'all have a blessed one. Till next video, y'all. Y'all have a blessed one. i catch y'all on the next one. All right. Peace.